We live in a culture that doesn't have us interacting a lot with children. Parents now have a different idea of what parent is that because they think it's like they view their world, which is about commodity over community, which is about the things that I own. A whole load of new information has come about um, what children need, how they develop and so on, which has really thrown a spanner in the works. So then we make parenting choices that it's more important to earn the money rather than take the time out to, to be with the child. The technology is moving so fast. We're going at the speed of light trying to keep up with it. It's amazing. There's all this new stuff. Oh, my goodness me, I can do this. I've got a new app. Um, all this wonderful stuff. So we think our children should have that too. If we keep sticking them in front of moving pictures, stimul stimulating things, that's what they start to tune into. And that native drive for repetition and imitation and play will just get deadened. What form do lots of our children experience love as? What have they learned love is? We somehow think that disturbed children are an alien species, even though the narrative around adult recovery is polluted with theories. When it gets to children, the child is evil. And you need to stop using the word smacking, there's the first thing. Start using the word assault. Start using the word bullying, because it's a big person hitting a little person. So stop using the S word, and that would start to change attitudes about it. If only we would all play like children still play. I don't think we would be so depressed. Picking myths out of daisy chains, lip-sitting, whispering sounds into practicing breaths. If only we could still see the world as they see it, of colours and textures and sounds. Hello.